always, my eyes wander to the Buffalo Spree editions with delicious looking food draped all over the cover. And that means the November issue uh, it will be very easy to spot for you because we learn all about noodles and the pasta served in Western New York. Senior editor in chief Elizabeth Licata is back. Elizabeth, I love this. <laughs> and I loved it even more once I got inside and saw all the lovely pictures of autumn on the menu and so many different ways to serve pasta because it's not just Italian. No, in fact, all the we only covered um, the big spreads were for people who make their own yeah. noodles. None of them are really Italian restaurants. Mm. Most of the Italian restaurants like Lombardo's, or Lombardo's makes one handmade pasta dish. Um, they are mainly used in your box, and it was interesting, we did a survey of what box noodles um, mm -hmm. there are. You know, back in the late 80s. Oh good, I'm, I'm glad you're bringing <laughs> this up because right here it says from the yeah. editor, we find out that Elizabeth herself was a pasta maker. Yes, it's just <laughs> pasta, that's all I did. It was not an exalted position in the slightest. But I did learn how to use these really big machines. They're very expensive. Um, it's like the, the things that they sell you to make, I would never right. even bother. You need industrial would, strength. Yes. <laughs> and we would make these huge batches of dough and we like the, for the extruder, we used only semolina. Mm -hmm. We would make squid ink pasta. Mm -hmm. Flavored pastas were in, I made ravioli, tortellini, gnocchi, all those things. Oh, it was yeah. Real, it was, I mean, it was not my career. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But it was really fun, and uh, it was encouraging to learn that these a lot of the restaurants in Buffalo, including Craving, Marble mm -hmm. and Rye, others are making um, black sheep, making their own, making their own noodles. It's great because uh, just coming back from Italy, we saw the pasta makers in so many different restaurants mm -hmm. yes. where they wouldn't think of buying it. Although you can get some really good uh, pasta in a bag. I mean that. I mean, and in so, fact, you asked some chefs around town. Yes. What do you prefer? And a lot of them really love the stuff that that's available they have certain Western types that they like and one of the types some of them were unfamiliar to me I'm thinking these are specialty yeah that they probably have to special order and that we might not be able to find in stores but the you know there's a my late boss Larry Lovett mm -hmm. always he liked the dry pasta better he did not think that fresh pasta was too soft or something. Mm. He didn't think it was good. But you know, it's it's a we just limited it to mainly to handmade pasta because otherwise if you it's a huge world. You're oh, getting yeah. into ravi you're getting yep. into you're getting into pierogi, mm -hmm. you're getting into, you know, dump Chinese dumplings. Right. I mean, and and as pasta, it is you, you have Spanish in here, you have Asian yes, quiz, cuisine. Yes, yes. So everybody's using a form of the noodle dough. Mm -hmm. Especially oh and of course ramen yeah. is so big. Right. Is so big. You know what? Just keep it al dente and you can get away with a lot, <laughs> you know. Just uh, it, it, that, that, and that means don't cook it until it's soft. Leave a little bit of chew to it, and uh, and there's just something about it that's phenomenal. It kind of incurred, I kind of made me want to make pasta again. I bet, <laughs> I bet. You know, it's funny. After we got home from Italy, my husband gave it a shot just because we had Did so he? many different pastas. So I saw him with the ring of flour, and he had the eggs. It was just fantastic. So you know what? The weather is not so nice. I was like, give it a shot. You can't really it can't really go is wrong. Good. It's good pasta weather. Yeah, it's pasta, it's eggs, and it's a pinch and of soup. salt and water. And soup with pasta in it. Perfect. Exactly, exactly. So listen, I know we're getting off the topic, but I just have to tell you because this issue will spur you to have conversation. Also, there's uh, more food pictures in the eat section. And also, we have to let you, let you know that the Buffalo Spring Medical Resource Guide comes as well. And um, this is great because it's got a lot of good information in here. A complete list of all the Western New York physicians, mm -hmm. hospitals, you know, all the kinds of things that, you know, if you don't really know the medical scene, and there's also some great articles about what's going on because there's so many exciting things happening, especially on the medical campus. Right. And the new art programs that they have in Children's Hospital. And, well, yeah, now I want to see that. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be exciting. So all the names of, are changing of the hospital, so it's, it's very exciting. Isn't the grand opening this month? I yes, believe it I is believe for, so. for children's hospitals. So how exciting is that? And then but also I wanted to point great. out um, our story on Hayes Hall, because people forget about UB South Campus. There are some gorgeous structures on UB South Campus, and it is still very much used. So we have a story by Barry Muscat about the renovation inside of Hayes Hall, which is now the, in, the architecture and design department is using the whole building, and they're using parts of the building that they never used before, and so there's some great pictures. Well, you know what, if it's happening, and it's, it's worthy to write about. You've got it here in Buffalo Spree. It's terrific. Um, it's interesting, too, because you have an article on struggling to get medical cannabis in New York We're State. We're going to continue Very with that in our January. It, there's a lot of information uh -huh. about the history of cannabis and how it was sort of demonized, if you remember. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
that that Sally Cunningham gives, and a lot of it I did not know. But we're, yeah, it's a great story. But it, there's uh, there are now you know there, there's a uh, treatment centers that mm -hmm. use cannabis, and it's it's some medical. Uh, cannabis, and we don't say marijuana because right. that's not even the name of the plant. Right, and and it, so it many no people are under the mis you know conception that oh, it's just people who just want to get high. No, that no, is no. not it at all. And you read that in the article. No, medical it's very fair. cannabis is legit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's and, helping uh, a lot of people. We'll be we'll be writing more. Well, listen, folks, you just got to go where wonderful publications are available. You're going to find Buffalo Spree, and uh, make sure you pick up this part too, the medical resource Only guide. Only to subscribers. If you subscribe, so that just tells you you got to subscribe. Could be. The best uh, holiday gift you start right out with this time of year. Get yourself a subscription to Buffalo Street. Never miss what's happening in Western New York.